Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica and I want to welcome you to another interesting video. It's going to be straight to the point. And this would be for people that are struggling to do some few things while working with documents. Before I go into today's video where I'll be showing you how to convert between your Excel, Word and PDF files or documents, I will quickly thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel. We are 900 subscribers strong. Thank you so much. I feel so glad and happy that we are coming together as a community. But if you are yet to subscribe, this is another opportunity for you to subscribe. Having said that, I'll take you directly to how you can convert between your Word files, PDF files, and your Excel document. Some of you might be asking, Veronica, why are you teaching us this? This is very simple, but trust me, there are people that struggle with this, and this would be for those kind of people. Okay, they might not come to tell you directly that they're struggling with some few things in Excel or while working with their files. So this would actually benefit those that are new to all of this or have not yet figured it out because I'm going to be showing you the internal way and the external way. That, that is how you can do it directly on those files or how you can use an external website, which is actually free as well, okay? So let's get into today's video. I have opened a few files here. I have one Excel file here and I have one Word file that we're going to work with. I'll start with the Word file. Like I said, I mentioned earlier, you can convert a Word document to a PDF document or an Excel document to a PDF document, or you can convert back based on the need. I'm going to be starting with the Word document. You can do it internally by saving this file to the format that you want. So irrespective of the fact that it is in Word now, you can come here and save as a PDF file or whatever file you want it to be saved as. So I'm going to choose the location where I want it to be saved. It's currently a Word document, so that's why you have the save as type to be Word document. But if you want to change it, you can change it to PDF, you can change it to Excel, you can change it to a web page, just depending on what you need it for or depending on the format you want, okay? So there are some uploads that you want to do for your Word document that it's not accepted as a Word document. So depending on what is accepted, just come here and figure it out and just pick it. This is PDF and if you click save, that invoice will be converted to a PDF file. So if you're wondering what is PDF, PDF means portable document format. And this is when you are unable to edit or tamper with what you have on your file. When it was a Word document, it was still editable. You can change things. It can get disarranged when you save it. But now that it is a PDF file, you're sure that you don't want anything to change. You don't want it to be disarranged when it gets to the recipient or the person you're sending it to. That's why it's better to be in a portable doc document format, which is PDF. Also, if you want to convert your Excel file as well, just do the same thing. Go to File, Save As, and choose the format that you want it to be saved in. So now this is when you want to do it internally. If you want to do it using a separate website, probably you don't like this method. It's too limited. You want to see more things. You can use a website called I Love PDF. And I'm just going to open it here. I Love PDF. This will give you a lot of options. In fact, a plethora of them. As a matter of fact, so if you open it, you can see merge PDF. There are some times that you want to combine two separate PDF files, portable document format files. You want to combine it together. You can do it here. You can split the pages of a PDF file. For example, you have 10 pages of a PDF file. You can split them into one page individually. Most probably, you don't want to send the whole page. You just want to send a part of it. You want to compress PDF, for example, if it is very bulky, it's, it's taking a lot of space, or the upload range given is exceeded. If the upload range is like 30 MB, but your file is about 100 MB, you can actually 
compress it so that you can upload it or so you can send it or what have you. PDF to Word, just what I did now was Word to PDF. But if you want to now convert that PDF back to Word, you can use this. And I'm going to use this as an example. So select PDF file. And I'll pick that exact invoice that I saved to my desktop just now. Invoice, as you can see that it's a PDF file. I open it and then convert to work. And it literally takes a matter of minutes, seconds, in fact, download Word and open, okay? So your invoice is back to being in Word. You can see that now, okay? So it was Word before I took it to PDF. If you want to take it back to Word, let's say what you have here, like it's particular to someone, you don't want to start again from a new invoice and you don't have the old Word document again, just use I love PDF to convert it back to Word. And there are a lot of other options. If I go back now, because I'm done with this, you will see the other options that you have. Yeah, there is PDF to PowerPoint, PDF to Excel. So use, this is JPG, which is a picture to PDF. And it has a lot, lot, lot of options that you can try out. So if you are someone that works with files and you've not figured out this particular website before, this is me not gatekeeping and bringing this to your awareness so that your work life and your efficiency at work is maximized or is increased. You're able to turn out a good work and an accurate work at the shortest possible time. It's called smart work, okay? So be sure to try this out and let me know if you have any questions. If you also have any new things that you want me to show you, it could be random. I might be able to help. If I can't, then I'll let you know. But do not suffer in silence. Make sure that you're doing everything you can to get the knowledge that you need to be very productive at work. This would be where I will end this video. If you found this really useful, let me know. Have you heard about this website before? I love PDF. Let me know. Have you used it before? How do you see it? Or will you be trying it? Let me know. All right, guys, thank you once again. Do not forget to subscribe. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible, if possible, in my next video. And I will be so grateful and happy to get there because it's been a long time coming and I'm glad that I am doing this journey with you. Thank you so much once again and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.